Hello folks, Samsung's Galaxy Watch 4 is the best smartwatch you can buy for Android, as it delivers not only the first experience built on top of Wii OS 3, but also some of the best features. However, the battery life has been a bit disappointing, especially compared to previous generation devices. And that could all change soon though. A few days ago, Sam Mobile spotted the battery of the 40mm version of the Galaxy Watch 5. It has a rated capacity of 276 million power. For comparison, the Galaxy Watch 4 shipped with a 247 million power battery in its smaller model. While roughly 30 million power isn't a huge increase, the roughly 11% boost would surely make a noticeable impact on real-world endurance. Now, the battery capacity of the bigger version of the Galaxy Watch 5 has been spotted in Safety Careers database. Apparently, the larger Galaxy Watch 5 models will adopt 397 million powers batteries, up from 361 million powers on the prior release. So, the Galaxy Watch 5 could actually last a couple of days on a single charge. That should end all the battery life complaints that we've seen with the Galaxy Watch 4 series. The increased battery capacity in the both models is good news for users, especially those who use battery-intensive features like the always-on display, GPS tracking and so on. With the new watch is expected to offer more features and new sensors, the power draw might be even greater than the last generation devices. So the enhanced battery capacities would be the most welcome for users across the spectrum. Of course, battery life is a function of two things, battery capacity and the efficiency of the hardware. The Watch 4 generation introduced the Exynos W920, a 5 nanometer chip, which is more efficient than the 10 nanometers Exynos 9110 used in the Watch 3 series and the 12 nanometer Snapdragon V4100 used in some non Samsung watches. By the sound of it, 4 nanometer foundries are running at full capacity, so a new, more efficient wearable chipset is unlikely. Besides, an increase in battery can also mean an increase in the display. Note that we are not 100% sure about the sizes. For example, the Watch 3 had a 45 mm version, not 44 mm. But Samsung really needs to crack the problem of the bezels and bring the screen to the edge instead of having that large black ring around the perimeter of the screen taking up valuable screen real estate. The Galaxy Watch 4 is already a feature-packed device. With the Galaxy Watch 5, Samsung is expected to integrate a thermometer which will be used to track skin temperature, useful to detect early signs of infection as well as tracking ovulation cycles. Also, it is very likely that hardware components are not the only upgrades Samsung is planning for its next-gen smartwatches. With software features often seen as the ultimate deciding factor for the consumers, there should also be a number of improvements on the software side as well. Samsung's Galaxy Watch 5 will likely run the latest version of Google's Wear OS with exclusive features and enhanced health tracking, making it one of the leading competitors against Apple's upcoming Watch Series 8. While there are no additional details on the subject at this point, it is likely that more information will become available closer to the Galaxy Watch 5's release date. The smartwatch could launch sometime in the second half of this year alongside the Galaxy Fold 4 and the Galaxy Flip 4. Are you excited about the Galaxy Watch 5? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, share the video with your friends, especially those who are considering buying a smartwatch. Perhaps this video will help them decide whether to wait for a new model or not. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel for new videos, good luck to everyone!